how how did you become comfortable with putting yourself out there again? Oh my gosh. Hard. I mean, that, back to therapy. I mean, yeah. I, I think a lot of it was really learning how to be able to take the things that you generally hear on a, da a daily basis. You know, of course, yeah. there's so much, uh, there, there's so much uh, feedback that you're getting on a constant basis and it's hard to like shut it off or not listen to people. But what I've done now is I've really learned that, like I genuinely do, like I'm a child of the internet. I, I, I grew up on message boards and, and so I don't, it's, so sad, but I don't feel complete without having those people along with me for the journey of, of everything that I go through, you know, whether it's so difficult to live in front of the public and, and, and have these things happen in front of everybody, I do feel like they're along for the ride. And so for people to see live time, my growth and, and, and the things that I go through and how I deal with them, and mm. I, I like them along for all that. And so when that's missing from my life, when, I, when social is is gone, I don't have that interaction with people, I, I feel like a bit incomplete. And when I'm cooking or something, when I have this natural urge, I'm like, I gotta film this, I got it. Like, well, that makes that sense though, because that's like what you do in the public eye too, and that's what, you're so good at it, and like, people, that's something that's but interactive. But no, balance is not, it's, it's being able to have that balance of like, okay, it's okay not to share this with the entire world, yeah. versus, you know, and sometimes it looks like we do share everything, I'm sure it looks like I share absolutely everything, but no. Um, yeah. It still is a, a you know a, a moment of like being able to uh, uh, where people see what they get to see and that's yeah. fine.